With a dead mouse, baby. Hey guys, welcome to Emlyn in the mix. Um, going to be doing something a little bit different tonight. Just got the camera angle and a, a bit of a different uh, angle there, so you can see the S49. Uh, not that you really need to see it. I think the main thing is that we want to be able to see the screen tonight because we are going to be having a look at the very brand new Sonic Academy's uh, kick number two. Freaking awesome plugin. Actually, I don't even know yet. We're about to find out. I'm going to give it my own you know, little certificate of whatever. Yeah, so tonight we're gonna be checking out uh, Sonic Academy's Kick 2, so it's very exciting. Got a little track here we can play, um, and we'll be able to look up here on the screenshot. So uh, let's get stuck into it and uh, have a look at this amazing app. All right, so <clears throat> we're just gonna head over to Sonic Academy's website here. Let's jump into there. And uh, yeah, let's download this sucker. I only just found out, I think it literally came out two days ago. Um, but it's such an affordable plugin, I'm not even going to think twice about it. This update looks fantastic. And especially because I've got the older version, um, there's obviously a, uh, an upgrade option for me, which is really awesome in my account, um, which is actually 50% off. So, uh, But even if you're buying it for the first time, it's so affordable. Uh, what is it? I think it's 49 US dollars, which uh, these days is for a plugin pretty good. All right, cause I'm signed in now. So just jump over to my account. And uh, so we want to go to plugins and we just click on F2. Here it is here. Oh, my bad, sorry. It's actually in pounds, which is kind of a little bit terrible. Um, considering how strong the pound is, but it is still relatively um, affordable. Twenty four ninety five, which works out to be about fifty or sixty bucks Australian. Uh, actually, I will just have a quick look at the cost of that. Just on my, uh, you can't see what I'm doing here on the other screen, but I'm just looking at the exchange rate. We'll just update this bad boy here. All right, so twenty four ninety five. It's still very good. It's only $46.63 Australian. So my phone is going up. We'll cut this a little bit out. Alright, cool. So we're going to add that to the basket here. We'll click on that, add it to the basket. And let's check out. Let's get it. Exciting, man. I'm pumped. Alright guys, here we are and um, I've got my session up here now. We've downloaded um, Sonic Academy's Kick 2. Um, which is now all there, ready to go. Um, so you'll be able to see my screenshot here. So we're gonna jump over to Sonic Academy, here it is here. And here's Kick 2, very exciting indeed. Um, now the track I've chosen here actually is a good one. I, I chose this track because um, I thought it'd be a good example of, um, you know, not quite having the kick drum right. Um, in this track, I've, I've done something really weird and, and probably no producer should ever do this. And I manifested my own idea of stacking the kick drum, which was a really bad idea, unless you're doing like a high and a mid with a low rumbling bass. Kick stacking can be really good or stacking kick drum can be really good. Uh, but what I've done here actually is I've got a um, Sonic Academy kick one, and then I've also got this fat bass drum which I've sampled off the uh, machine hardware over here, uh, sorry from the software or the hardware, whatever. Um, and I've got them stacked on top of each other and it is insane, like it is too much. Um, so tonight I want to show you, uh, one I want to show you the new Kick 2 and um, yeah let's have a look at it. I haven't even seen it yet, this is going to be my first time. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to show you how the track sounds uh, as is and you'll hear what I mean about the bass drum being way too powerful uh, in the mix. So 
So the start is just got a, the sub is actually taken out. The kick actually comes in here. Both kicks stacked. So anyway, you get the idea, the kick drum is spastic. Also, my computer is totally wigging out right now because we're doing a screenshot and my hard drive is nearly full for some weird ass reason. I'll have to suss that out. All right, guys, kick two, here it is. Boom. Oh yeah, I gotta register. Forgot about that. Gotta do that now. Register. Um, go to my downloads. Kick two key file, boom. Kick two is being registered. Enjoy. All right. Oh, it's very nice and snappy. All right, so this is our kick two here. Oh, so straight off the bat, the main thing I'm noticing is you can actually see the wave file. If we just put, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing kick one uh, in comparison here, so we can just see the difference. Kick one, Nicky Romero. Yeah, you couldn't see the wave file before in the old kick. Like, if we go back over to... That's the kick I've chose for that, and actually, that kick does fill out a bit, I believe. Just depends where it is on the track. I oh, no. I oh, yeah, no, that was filled out. Alright, so straight off the bat, the the cool thing I'm noticing about kick two is um, we have the waveform. And I really like that. The other cool thing is we've got uh, here, we've got three clicks that we can add to the bass drum. Uh, up to three clicks in there. I'm not sure why you'd want so many. Uh, let's go through some of the presets and just see what they're like. Uh, TR 808. Oh, some of these drums are nice, actually. Cool, we got a distortion here. Really nice distortion. And we can even have a, a cutoff. High pass and low pass. That's very nice for the distortion there. Take that off. We've also got a drive. Wow. So with the distortion, yeah, the drive is really going to come in. And it looks like you can turn the clicks on. Oh, no, this is so... Ah, oh, okay, so here's your window for looking. Oh, cool, you got your amp as well, so you can see... Oh, that's brilliant. That's your release time. And your sustain. There you go, there's your sustain. You get a real long kick with a lot of release. Listen to that. Fat, and you can increase the attack. Comes in straight away. Nice, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? All right, obviously that, that's a bit silly. You wouldn't have a kick like that. Let's have a look at, um, let's jump in here. Oh, here we go, we've got all our categories as well. Uh, base house, let's have a listen to that. Wow. Really nice kicks here. I'm really enjoying these kicks actually. And you can hear the, um, the click one is here. Very cool though, you could stack in, it looks like you could stack other clicks in. Oh, wait a sec, is that on? Doesn't look like it's on, does it? Oh, it's muted. There you go. So you could have... I don't know why you'd want that. Wow, this is cool. Alright, so I'll stop mucking around here. I'm just, I'm actually, this is my first time looking at it actually. I just wanted to show you guys. 
that's the whole point of my YouTube channel, so that I can show you guys before you even decide to buy. I'll be the, I'll be your lab rat, your freaking guinea pig, and I'll pay the money and get the plug-in, and I'll play around with it, so you guys can check it out. That's basically all I'm doing right now. Um, I saw a little preview on it, but this looks very cool. Um, how you can manipulate, um, especially the distortion drive, and then the fact you can um, stack your clicks here, that's very cool. Uh, and just the functionality is really nice. How you can um, really mess with, like, you know, the pitch here. Um, then you get your envelope, you know, increase your attack or have a bit more sustain, that sort of thing. Um, very, very cool. I've even got your EQ here, so you can really get the sub, sub going. Nice. I've even got mid and side, I think, here as well. <laughs> oh, we haven't even gotten to this part. Compressor. Cool. So you get a little compressor here as well. Doesn't look like it's on. There it is. Increase the ratio. I don't know if it's working or not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's in there now. It's getting squished. And then, not sure what this thing is, but... Oh, that's your master, is it? Sub. I oh, see master, your sub. Wow, you can change the waveform of your sub as well. That's really fun. Let's try a totally different style. Let's try like hard house. Whoa. Oh, you got your limiter here as well. You can actually, oh no, your limiter's here. Wow, that's cool. It's even got a limiter on it. I don't even know, like oh, this is all just new to me. Oh, you can even change your velocity amount. Not sure why you'd want the Porter slot. Not sure what that's all about, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is very fun. I suppose we should probably try it in a song environment, shouldn't we? And just see how. I mean, I wanted to try it out in this track and just see how it works. Hey, um, so I'm gonna copy my Kick One MIDI from here. And copy it down, and we'll try some different uh, styles and see what works in this track. Obviously, turn off these. That's pretty cool. this section up. Nice. Yeah, it sounds really nice. I mean, I haven't even attempted playing around with any of its little functions. I have got, um, there is another stack, that's why before it was sounding really bad. It sounds great now. Um, but there's another stack up here with, I've got a, the loop uh, I should point with the cursor because you're not going to be able to see my arm. Um, the loop uh, here, which is uh, basically a really nice, clean 123 BPM uh, bass drum and kick. 
and just enhances the um, kick two that I've got running here as well. Um, just going to loop this section to see if we can go through the presets. I do like this apricot um, preset here, but just see if we can go through the presets, see if we can find something that sits even better. <laughs> Oh man, some of these presets are spot on actually. They sound so good. Anyway guys, I don't want to bore you too much with uh, me making tracks here tonight. Basically, I just wanted to show you Sonic Academy's Kick 2. I think it's really awesome. Um, is it worth, you know, spending uh, however many dollars it is for the full version Australian? I'm not sure. I think it's probably... It would, it would have to be about $90 Australian, actually, for the full version. I think if you've never had Kick, the Nicky Romero Kick, the original one, um, then definitely go out and get kick two. Or if you haven't had a kick uh, or a uh, bass drum synthesizer before, then kick is definitely one to look for. I mean, I do like the um, the RFX. Uh, what's it under? Calworth Audio uh, VPS Metrum is good, but I don't know. I just found kick a lot easier, and and now kick with kick two, it seems like they've really um, stepped the game up. And made it even easier here to stack and to add effects and the fact that it's got compressors and limiters it's just an all-in-one unit i mean i could limit it myself and compress it myself but um the fact that it's got that in there already just makes it really easy just an all-in-one real simple plug-in should you upgrade though that's the question should you upgrade to the new kick 2 well i think it's for, for the price, 45 bucks Australian, $25 or £25, sorry. Um, I think that's a reasonable upgrade amount. Uh, and for what it's worth, I'm sure I haven't looked barely under the hood here. I'm sure there's more that I can do. And sorry if I'm not showing you all of the bells and whistles of this plugin, because I'm sure there's more that it can do. Um, definitely suss it out though. I mean, for that price, it's a bargain, I thought, and I just wanted to show you guys. I think it's awesome and can't get enough of having a bass drum synth. This has been Kick 2 on Emlyn in the Mix. Um, definitely go out and get yourself a copy, especially if you're making house, EDM, or any electronic sort of music, um, dubstep. I'm sure this will come in really handy. Anyway, thanks for watching Emlyn in the Mix, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Boom.